Welcome to Siemens TIA portal environment. Before we start the programming, let's take down first the input and output tags. Start, Stop, and Diffuser 1 and 2 are the inputs. Address it as I0.0 .0 to I0.3. For the outputs, conveyor 1, 2, 3, pop up sorter, and pop up sorter left. And we address it as Q4.0 to Q4.4. Let's save it and open program blocks and click main OB. Let's begin now the PLC programming. As we checked before, when start push button is energized, conveyor 1, 2, 3 and pop up wheel will energized. So let's add an open contact for the start push button. And then for set function for conveyor 1, 2, 3, and pop up wheel. As start open contact get closed, for set function will energized. Network 2 for stop function. Normally open contact for stop push button. And then a negative edge trigger function. As stop push button energize, a falling edge trigger will reset conveyor 1 and pop up wheel. Next sequence, when box energize the diffuse sensor 1, pop-up wheel left will energized. Let's add another open contact for diffuse sensor 1. And then a positive edge trigger function. When diffuse sensor energize, positive trigger function will give signal from low to high state, and energize the pop-up wheel left. So when the box cross to conveyor 3, it will trigger the diffuse sensor 2, and then pop-up wheel left will be resetted. For our last network, let's add an open contact for diffuse sensor 2, followed by negative trigger function, and then reset function for pop-up wheel left. Let's compile the program and load it in the PLC simulation. As you can see, the smaller box go directly to the conveyor too. And when the big box energized diffuse sensor 1, pop-up wheel left is energized. And reset it, when the box energized the diffuse sensor 2 in conveyor 3. Another thing to consider in making a factory I.O. scene, is the arrangement of sensors, devices, load, and other part of the machines. If you didn't arrange it well, even your program is right, you might not get a perfect machine simulation.